Welcome back to The Grind, and for day two of Trading Post in the Soul Dance season week, I believe this is week six now. So we have this Trading Post, which has changed over on the second day. This is basically like the mystery branches that they had previously, but this is their new way of putting it out there, and it's kind of unique and cool. So this is Trading Post. We have new items now in the second day of this, and the featured item is chisels and the chisels you get 50 chisels for 250 sigils now if you need chisels and you're hurting for them this is a reasonable deal comparable to previous ones that we've had but two 250 sigils or purchasing it five times for a uh, hundred and or 1250 sigils is a fair chunk of chisels or sorry first chunk of sigils my apologies for the chisels but if you don't need the sigils and you do need the chisels, then it is a reasonable cost, especially because there really is no other way to get them other than scoring well in events. I personally do not feel like I need the chisels, so I'm going to opt out of that. The next one, this bundle here, gives you five of the 200 percent xp boosts and five of these xp potions now th those are pretty large xp potions but for 100 sigils it does not seem like quite a great deal compared to what we've gotten previously they've had tons of these exp uh, deals in the most recent uh, season and so if you got some of those those were better value and for me i have an abundance of these so i'm not going to take them unless it's a great deal um, so i'm personally going to opt out of this and if you feel like you like the exp potions the new dragon quests do offer some great exp prizes there so you can do those for the rewards i actually haven't done them in a while um so I'm going to have to go look over there and see what they're looking like these days. But for now, I'm going to opt out of this deal. And then the next one here is crafting shards in exchange for not sigils, but a different type of crafting shard. Now, once again, this exchange is not um, a very large portion. So you don't, it's not going to make a huge difference. And it really only helps if you happen to have an abundance of the type that is being um, purchased, uh, that you are using to purchase the other type, which in this case, it's the dark shards. Now, I do not have an abundance of them. I actually am low on them. Um, so it's not a good deal for me. But if you happen to, you know, be in the right position that you want to get rid of some of the dark for the earth, then it is a good, a reasonable option. It's You are losing out on some uh, for the exchange, but if you're hurting for the earth shards and you've got enough of the dark, it's a fair option to choose. The next one here is egg tokens, and you get 750 egg tokens for 100 sigils. Now, if you do the full 10, that's 1,000 sigils for 7,500 egg tokens. Now this one, I rely on Morion's analysis, which he does post on the forums, and he goes through and he calculates all the different ways of getting each of the different resources to see you know, if it's the most valuable choice and compared with other deals. Very, um, very helpful analysis that he does, not only for these things, but he has a lot of information out there, such as the War Dragons Neon, which we've talked about before, that has a lot of information on towers and base building and dragons, and a lot of stuff like that the riders um so he has compared this one uh, and he says it's essentially the same value as yesterday's mythic fragments or mystic fragments and except the egg tokens are valuable to everybody not only those at end tier uh but like the mythic mystic fragments were so this one's actually a fairly decent deal and if you were to grind out um egg tokens on egg token missions then you would be better off with the resources you spend, but that takes a lot of time. So in order to save time, you can opt for this. And uh, I personally am going to go for this deal and give up the 1,000 sigils in order to get the 7,500. Now, it's not a huge dent. That's not a lot of egg tokens, uh, but, it, but it, is, it is a bit, and it will contribute a little bit. Who knows? Maybe I'll hit one event where I'm just needing that extra few thousand, and that will be... Um, all thanks to this deal. 
Not everybody should choose this deal. Of course, if you're pushing for a Mythic Dragon, especially as a free-to-play and you're not sure if you'll have the right amount of sigils or you're, you'll know you'll have a little extra, but you want the spiciest, best deal that you can get, then you might want to hold out for the further days of Trading Post because there might be something that you just don't want to miss. Now, the last one is actually uh, pretty cool. I actually quite like this. It's a legendary rage rune. Now, previously they've given out lots of these wisdom runes, uh, and so a lot of people didn't want another one of those. But this is actually a pretty nice one. It's a new one. I'm pretty sure this doesn't exist or hadn't existed in the game previously. So it's a rage generation plus the secondary of dragon attack. Now, I, I've heard it's not that much. I think it's 7% rage, which is fairly decent. And then the dragon attack is only about 2%. But in a lot of these other rage runes have secondaries like cloaks and stuff that most dragons, or not all dragons, have. So this one is generic for any dragon. It will benefit you with the rage as well as the dragon attack. So we're going to purchase that. For only 200 sigils, that's pretty cheap for a rune so if you're not drowning in rage runes this one is something that i would definitely recommend jumping on let's go over and level up that rage rune and take a look at the stats all right so now we're over here with this rage rune that has the increased dragon attack secondary so let's go upgrade that one and put in the dust to max this one out i've got over 60 million rune dust so enough to spare I tend to not really level up my runes and glyphs, except for the the very few or the handful of them that I've put on uh, my, my, my most pride dragons, like uh, Nocturne I've invested in, and Morak definitely. And then the ones on my base I do level up as well. So 7.5% rage generation and 2% dragon attack. So that's a pretty decent rune in my opinion. Definitely will benefit um, most dragons in the game. And uh, because it is legendary, it only costs 35 chisels to move and swap out to a different dragon. So not a bad one, in my opinion, for um, not only those who are more advanced in the game, but even especially those who are, you know, just starting out in the game. You may not have the chisels to remove it yet, but it is cheap to get only 200 sigils. And then you can put it on whatever dragon you choose that is your best dragon. And it will definitely help out quite significantly. Not so much with the attack, but it is a nice little bonus. And the rage is a nice amount for you um, for whatever your main dragon is. And then when you run out of stones for that dragon, it only costs you 35 chisels to remove and put on the next dragon of your choice so um, not a terrible day for me it wasn't um, quite as enjoyable as yesterday's but this rune was quite nice to get and so let me know in the comments what you think of today's offers and then keep an eye out on tomorrow and i'll put another video out and if you want to check out morion's reviews on the forums and skip the videos that's also a great option check out the thread that he's updating with those details so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video